my channel today I have another theatre vlog for you. So today I'm going to go to the Lowry. I'm going to see Fisherman's Friends. I've kindly been gifted the tickets by the Lowry for their press night. So I'm really excited because it's a new musical that I've never seen before. Fortunately Lawrence is working so he can't come with me. So my dad is coming with me and my mum and my brother are going to look after the children who you might hear running around in the background. So, so yeah, it should be a fun night. Like I said, we've never seen this musical before. I'm really excited. I've heard some good things about it. So I'll show you any merch they've got, and obviously I'll review it at the end. So I hope you enjoy this little theatre vlog. Oh, and today we're not going in the car till we are getting the tram. So fingers crossed we get there on time because the parents still aren't here yet. So yeah, fingers crossed we get there on time. The parents should be here at six. It's like five two now, so as long as we leave straight away, we should hopefully be okay. So I should get back to you now when we are at the theatre. So I'm just at the Cornbrook tram stop. Um, just waiting for our next tram to so be no time for it yet. I think it's about half six now. So I've got like half an hour for me to be there. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. So I've just arrived at the Lowry. It's just across here. It's over here, so we're just going to walk up to Lowry now, head in, get our program, our wristbands, and then I'll show you where we're starting. So we're just in the fit and I've just purchased a magnet from the merch stand which is just behind me. We've got a few bits of merch actually. We can record it all for you. I'm just going to go to the press desk now, pick up my programme and my wristband because we've got a while yet so we can go to our seats. So I'll get back to you in a bit. So it's about 10 past now, it's the auditorium is now open for us to go in. So we're in door A, we're on row Q, seat 31, 35, so we're going to go in now and find our seats. Okay, so here's our tickets, we're just going to go find door A now. Heading in now to find our seats. Here we go. So we're row Q, seat 34 and 35. We're this row here, just next to these people. So we're just in our seats now. It's about quarter past, about 15 minutes till it starts. And um, Dad's just looking through the program. And I'll just show you the view from our seats. We're in row Q, seat. 34. Okay, so this is the view. So it's a really good view. And this is the leg room. You don't have to hide it. Baby, let your head down. Be a little wilder. Baby, kick your shoes off. Don't hide it. So it is now the interval, and it's really good. We're both really enjoying it. My dad thinks it's great. I'm going to go and get a drink now. Me and my dad are just getting a drink. Dad got, would you get water? White wine. I got one. I just got orange juice. Yeah. What do you think of it, Dad? It was excellent. Yeah. Very good. Dad really enjoyed it. You've seen the film, haven't you?
Glastonbury, Paul Tysaps, Fisherman's So it is now the next day and I thought I would tell you a bit about the show. So we were in the, we sat in the stalls, we were on row Q, seat 34, 35. The view from there was excellent. The thing about the library is it's really hard not to get a great view. Most seats you do get a really good view, but I think that was just enough back that you can see everything on stage and I just thought it was a really good view. Um, I would definitely recommend them seats. Uh, there was plenty of leg room. Not as much like rooms in some of the seats, but there were still plenty. So as the tickets were gifted by the Lara, I'm not sure how much them seats should have been. I'm guessing around £30, I think they usually are. Um, maybe 40 something like that. Um, but I know there is currently an offer on for £20 best available seats um, by Manchester Theatres. So if I can find the code, I'll put that down below for you in case you would like to see the show because the show was amazing. It was really, really good. My dad loved it. He, my dad absolutely loved it. He's seen the film. So if you didn't know, it's actually based on a true story um, and they've made a film um, of it and now they've made the musical. Um, I've never seen the film, but my dad's seen the film and he really liked it. So that's why I was looking forward to coming to this and he absolutely loved it. I think he loved it more than the film. Um, 
but but yeah it was very very good um they did have some merch for the show uh i picked up a magnet and find it yep so i picked up that magnet that was five pounds um obviously i was gifted the program which was here but you could purchase these for five pounds as well they did have a brochure which i think was eight pounds which i've had more pictures in um what other things did they have they had a mug t-shirts pen uh key ring uh, and a few other things as well so if you've not heard of the story not seen the film basically it's about a group of cornish fishermen who get together and they sing like sea shanty songs uh, i think they were doing it originally for charity to make some money for charity and then a guy called danny comes along who's at poor isaac for a wedding um happens to stumble across the band and he's actually an a r man and he really likes their sound and wants to make a demo of their music uh so they end up making a demo and then obviously they end up getting into the charts making an album and then i think they ended up going to glastonbury so it's a really good feel-good story the songs the sea shanty songs that they sing are really good uh, the cast is excellent in this show really enjoyed all the cast uh, and the songs are so good as well and they constantly there's constant songs throughout the show and um yeah i really really enjoyed it yes yeah, so i think the movie came out in 2019 like i said i've not seen the movie but i think i'm gonna watch it now because like i really enjoyed the show um so i think i'm gonna see if i can find the movie and watch the movie but yeah i definitely recommend the show especially if you've seen the movie and enjoyed the movie you'll love this musical like i said my dad absolutely loved it he really really enjoyed it um also the set for this was really good it was sort of like um set up to be like a harbor and then they brought uh, um, other things in so they brought like a bar in when they were in the bar scene uh, they had a boat which was really good when they were all on the boat really enjoyed that so the set was good also the um the band which played the instruments they were all on stage which gave it a really good um like community sort of feel when they were like in the bar and stuff it was really good i liked the fact that they had the uh, musicians on stage with them uh, i thought that was a really good idea so yeah i definitely recommend this show so yeah i definitely recommend this show it's definitely a feel-good musical you definitely come out feeling good and yeah really really loved it oh, so i will now just show you the program um and show you the cast okay so this is the program so you've got a few adverts in here this is for um, a gallery exhibition they've got at Lowry at the minute and yeah, my children really loved it so definitely recommend it if you can get to Lowry. Uh, some adverts for some upcoming shows. I really want to see this one because I've not seen this before so hopefully I'll be able to see that one. Uh, some more shows. Also I'd love to see this one as well. I think it's on in December. Yeah, so that's another one I'd like to see. And then you've got a um, article here about sea shanties and where origins of sea shanties and stuff. A bit more about um, the band. That's for Isaac. And then we have the um, cast biographies. Now there were two understudies on when I went to see it last night so there was an understudy on for Jim so um Hadrian Delacy was playing Jim and Dominic Brewer was playing Archie so usually Jim is played by James Gaddis um so we had who did I say Hadrian on instead so where's Hadrian yeah, so instead playing Jim, we had Hadrian Delacy, I think it's pronounced. So he was on for Jim, and he was really, really good. He um, did a really good performance, and yeah, you wouldn't have known he was an understudy. Um, let's see, has he been in a few other things? He's been in Miss Saigon. He's been in Les Mis. Uh, Jesus Christ Superstar. 
So yeah, he's done quite a few things. And this was in the Low Miz film. So yeah, he's done quite a lot and he was really good as Jim. He usually plays Archie, so because he was playing Jim, we have to have an understudy on for Archie. So um, we had Dominic Brewer on for Archie. And so playing the role of Archie, we had Dominic Brewer on. Um, he usually plays Yestin, um, but he was playing Archie. And yeah, he's been a few things. Sweeney Todd. Uh, Timon in the Lion King tour. So yeah, he's been in quite a few things as well. Yeah, he's done quite a lot of stuff. Then playing Danny, who was the a &R man, um, we had Jason Langley. And I thought he was great. I really enjoyed his performance of uh, Danny. I thought he was really, really good. He was funny. Um, yeah, I really liked his performance as Danny. So he has been in a few shows. He's been in Tina, the Tina Tuna musical on the West End. Um, Oslo. Uh, One Night in November. So yeah, he's been in a few things. He's also done a few television bits as well. Then you have Marisha Shamir as Alwyn. Or Alwyn, I think it's pronounced Alwyn. Um, and she was excellent. I really enjoyed her performance of Alwyn. Um, her voice is amazing. She has an absolutely amazing voice. Um, loved her solo. She's a few solo songs and yeah, they were beautiful. Really enjoyed her um, performance. And she's not been in that many things. She's played Greta in The Snow Queen. Um, she's been in the Mamma Mia UK tour. Uh, she's been, she was in Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again, the, mu the movie. And she's done some workshops and then some music credits there as well. Then playing Jago was Robert Duncan. So he's done quite a lot of things. And some television work and radio and stuff. So yeah, he was really good. And playing Maggie, we had Susan Penelingen. Um, so yeah, she's been in a lot of things uh, as well. She's done Mary and Juliet. She's been in Three Sisters, The Real Thing, uh, Of Mice and Men. She's done a lot. This is all her theatre credits here. Uh, television credits. She's been in Upstairs, Downstairs, Tales of the Unexpected, Casualty, Doctor Who. She's done a lot of stuff. And then she's also got been in some films as well. Then playing Rowan was Dan Buckley. Um, he's done quite a lot as well. He's been on in the house on Coal Hill at uh, the Mill Theatre. He's done Sweeney Todd, Book of Mormon. So yeah, he's done quite a lot of stuff as well. Then we had Anton Stevens playing Leadville. So he has been in theatre from the age of eight uh, when he's been in Bugsy, Bugsy Malone. So yeah, he's done a lot of stuff. Done some television work, got film credits, radio credits. Uh, yeah, he's done a lot of stuff. Then we've got Hazel Askew, she plays Anne and she's a musician. Things her credit, she's not done any theatre before but she's been in a movie. And then we have Louise Bedell, um, she plays Morwina and she's a musician. So she's been in a few theatre productions, television, and she's done a few workshops. And we have Mel Biggs, who plays Anne, and she's a musician. And then um, Dominic, we've already gone through. And then we've got this page, which got your company. Let's list the cast here. And then you've got your understudies. 
and then you've got your creative team and your stage management and technical team. And then we've got a few more cast biographies here. You've got Martin Carroll, who is Arthur, and he's also the on stage swing. Lots of um, lots of stuff. And then obviously we've already done Hadrian. Uh, we have James Finley, who played Henry and is co-musical director. Uh, Pete Gallagher who played Wiggy. Again, he's done lots of stuff. Alfie Gid Gidley um, played Bran. He was playing Bran, and he was a musician. Thea Houston Hamilton played Leah and she was she's dance captain. Becky Hurst played Grace and she's a musician. And Hazel Monaghan played Sally. So it's quite a big cast actually. It's quite a lot big cast. So Janet Mooney, she played Nessa and she was on stage swing. John O. Money played Eddie and was a musician. Hazel Simmons played El Elsa. And she was on stage swing a musician. Dakota Starr played Ben. And James William Patterson played Owen and was the co-musical director. So yeah, quite a big cast. Uh, like I said, a whole cast was outstanding, absolutely amazing the cast was. And then you've just got all your other information here, producers and stuff like that. And yeah, that's your programme. It's on at Larry Tilt Saturday the 1st of October and then obviously it's touring around the country. So so what I'll do is I'll link down below uh, to the Lowry website where you can buy tickets for the Lowry shows and then I'll also link down below the Fisherman's Friends official website where you can see where it's touring to and get tickets to a venue that's close to you. And yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. It was such a good night. My, like I said, my dad really enjoyed himself as well, which was nice. And it's not often, often I get to go out with my dad. Um, usually my mum comes with me, but it's nice to um, go with my dad today. Um, I think my dad wanted to go and see the musical again with my mum. So he definitely enjoyed himself. So if you enjoy musical vlogs and review videos, then please do subscribe to my channel. I should have a few more coming up very soon. Um, so if you subscribe and hit the notification bell, you'll be notified as soon as they come out. Yeah, like I was saying, I hope you have enjoyed this little video. If you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.